Hello guys! This is my project which I'm working on right now and I also working on with a square hoop like this for the first time and I really really like it so this hoop is perfectly fits the fabric by the way I like it it's done tight here and the whole page fits perfectly here and on today's uh, live stream I'm going to be stitching um, those letters and uh, we will try some outline stitches from here uh, my favorite stitch um, is whip it back stitch and I'm going to be using this for my letters but you can use any of those stitches for those letters and you can try and decide which one you like the most for example for split stitch you can use split uh, for split word you can use split stitch and try to make this uh, work word uh, looks look nice so I use it split stitch here and for back stitch I use it back stitch but then I decided to to do a whip it stitch so I whip it this and um, the letters looks much better um, as for me so you can try different stitches you can try stamp stitch if you want so this is totally up to you I was teaching those small words with only one strand of loss and I use it black loss and now I will be stitching those big ones and I'm gonna use two strands of loss it's also back black floss so I will stay consistent and we will use uh, the same black floss uh, for all the words here in, in this book so I will start from the loop so I took one strand and put uh, uh, two ends together and threaded it in my needle like this and I have a loop on one side so I will start from it okay you can start from the front side or you can start from the back side I will show you from the front side so you will see how how it goes and what's going on so when you put your thread uh, like this you have a loop and you come up from different side and you go through this loop and now you have your strap fixed and I'm putting to the same hole here to like to switch this loop to the back side so this is going to be on the back now And here you go so it depends on the how big your words are and how how the shape of the word is so it dependent uh, depending on this you can make shorter or longer stitches so I tried to make short stitches how do you choose the colors um this is only <laughs> about my intuition uh, i just put them together and look at them and uh, think if i like them or not uh, for this project it doesn't really matter how um, which colors uh, you are going to be using because just uh, for uh, the sake of practicing So see, I just finished it stitching for back stitch. So I did the back stitch for uh, this uh, letter, and I'm going out. I went out on one side, and now I'm going to be whipping this all. So this is so we'll turn it uh, to the whippet stitch and make it a whippet stitch I go under my next stitch you need to choose one direction you want to go and do the same for each stitch you just made and you need to keep in mind that 
if you are doing whipping stitch <laughs> it's a little bit uncomfortable uh, to stitch like this but I will try so your line becomes twice uh, thicker So here already like four strands of loss already in this line. So this is pretty simple but it takes some time. I thought that I will stitch this uh, page for like few hours, maybe two or three hours, but actually it took me about six or eight hours to stitch. <laughs> <laughs> the entire page so uh, now I'm stitching the letters and I think it will take uh, two more hours to stitch so it's about eight or ten hours for this page it's a lot of work so it can take you for one or two days depending on your speed and you can help with your hand like in this situation like I have so I keep my strat on, on the direction which is not going to be like... Uh, so the, this way is comfortable for me. So we're just whipping this stitch. You can make those letters to be uh, colored and they are going to be... If you're going to use two colors, well, one color for back stitch and one color for Whipping is gonna create the effect like this, and your letters will look really fun. <laughs> when you are whipping this stitch, you need to just try to not touch the fabric, you are just going under the stitch on the top, and when I finish it, I just go. I just put my needle on one side to the back side and that's it. I like how smooth the letters become when I use whipped back stitch. And now I'm jumping to the next letter. So we just continue this way. If you want to uh, to make your letters even bolder, you can use uh, three, string, three strands. So it just depends on how bold you want to make it. See? This is only backstitch and it already looks nice. But if I will turn it to weeper stitch, it becomes really better at my point. <laughs> because I like how it looks like when it's weeped back. Uh, will you wash your work? Uh, and to wash away the lines. Uh, those lines are uh, heating erasable, so I don't really have to wash it. I just uh, can uh, iron it or I can use the hot air from my hair dryer and the lines will disappear like a magic. So I will not have to wash it actually. If it's not dirty, I don't have to wash it. Um, because uh, when you are washing, I don't really like washing my works <laughs> and when you're washing uh, your stitches structure can can uh, destroy it can be destroyed by the water and then you will need to iron it so it can become flat so I don't like really washing if it's possible I use this uh, heating rate for pens and that's it Uh, there are different markers for pattern transferring, so there are water erasable ones and if you use water erasable pens, you will need to wash your work, um, of course. 
but in this case you don't need to wash it at all so this is why i like those pants um yeah by the way you can download this uh, page for free on my website if you go to my website uh, embroideryartbynat.com and uh, uh, switch to the free patterns page you can download it from here for free so if you want you can practice those stitches right now <laughs> and there is a video tutorial on youtube i plan to use a pencil if you are using it just a regular pencil so use just a simple um, soft one and test it before you try because um, pencils can be different and it can be hard to wash it away and uh, stuff like that so just test on some piece of fabric before you are stitching um, so you will know how it behaves when you are going to be washing it i use uh, non-branded <laughs> uh, pants uh, this is how they look like so this is student accent pen and 0.5 millimeter is erasable gel ink and it has some point like this so you can test it on the on paper so draw something and try to erase it with this uh, point so this is how you can test it and uh, you can find uh, um, such uh, if if to say about some brands so you can find some uh, friction pilot friction like this i had this pen and it's over and i had to buy another one so i tried a new one so that was um it was cheaper so there are lots of cheap uh, pens with effects uh, like this uh, and this is an expensive one but this is a good one so it's like a well-known brand it's a pilot friction point removed by friction here also so you just see what you have in your country and choose from what you have uh, those are just gel pens and if it's not uh, like removing with the heat it can be also easily washed away if needed so for a split stitch i just make a teeny stitch here and i come up further and i'm splitting the previous one uh, i like to split from the top um, I see that there is a little gap, so I will like stitch on top of it from this side to cover it. See when you use uh, two strands, you can see some gaps like this, so I, I will better to go back and fill it with a stitch like this. So our L letter <laughs> will be a little bit thicker than uh, those previous letters. But with one strand of lots you can make really thin lines and it's good for those smaller, uh, smaller letters here. Okay, so this was split stitch. Let's try stamp stitch. I made, made a small line and now I'm gonna be doing stem stitch. For stem stitch you just need to keep, um, uh, keep your thread on one side. Those dots I'm gonna use French knots. We are going to have a separate page entire page very interesting page for french knots and just to show you how to stitch them uh, we i can show you now but um, in future i will have uh, a separate video tutorial and uh, sample page for french knots so um, you come up from this place where you need to make a french knot and you can wrap your needle only once or you can wrap your needle twice, depends how big 
you need to make a French knot and I put my needle back almost into the same place where I come up but in not the same place I just uh, put my needle near it and then I keep my thread using my left hand here so and moving the needle down I still keeping my thread and let it go only in the end and this is how you can make a French knot uh, some people don't like French knots <laughs> because maybe they do them wrong so they doesn't look nice as a result but I just need to know um, that you need to keep your thread while you are uh, making your knot uh, because if you uh, let it go uh, right away and you if you don't keep your thread uh, with your left hand uh, it's just gonna create some loosey loops so <laughs> as you can see I continue doing my uh, words with uh, whipped back stitch because I really like how it turns out it's those uh, with the back stitches create the most um, perfect lines as to me. I was stitching the numbers using a combination of a back stitch and split stitch because they are really teeny and uh, so this is uh, totally up to you, you can choose your most uh, comfortable way to stitch them. I have also practiced my stitches on this sample. I just tried them. I see that on um, using those variated threads, it's really um, fun and uh, you can see uh, each stitch very clear when the thread is changed especially for whipped stitch. It looks really fun, but it's the same thread as uh, as everywhere, just the multicolored thread which is uh, changed it's, and that's why it looks so fun. I'm gonna continue stitching this uh, sample. I need to finish only words here on this page, so I hope you understand how to stitch those letters and I hope your letters will turn out really neat and uh, great. Uh, download this pattern for free and show me how it turned out on Instagram. Mention me on your pictures. Uh, use, my, use my hashtag embroidery at my art by nut. Uh, so I will see it later and maybe post it on my page or stories. In my next video tutorial, we are going to be stitching some new stitch for um, blanket stitch. And there is also a page for French knots. I think it's going to be blanket stitch because it's simple and French knot looks a little bit complicated. That's it for this video tutorial, so I hope you like it and I hope to see you next time in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and see you next time. Bye!